good morning. I just started a new company where we weigh tiny objects. It's a small scale operation. Benvenuto a shaven butcher. I come back from Verona, lovely Verona where I've spent a few days. Some lovely weather, unlike here where it's storming and raining and uh, some lovely food as well. Tagliata and Amarone wines and grappa and stuff like that. So pretty good. <clears throat> and I haven't warmed up my voice yet, as you can hear. Today we're um, aiming to finish uh, soap puck, Barrister Man's Bay Rum. There is very little left. And um, you know, I tried to press it into a bowl and bowl leather it, but that didn't quite turn out. It's quite hard, it's quite old. So whatever is left, we'll try and make a shave out of it. I hope we get enough. Brushes, the little Simpsons, the Duke. I do not remember the measurements and they're not on here, but it's pretty small. It's a 20, if even, millimeter. Pure Badger, so a little bit of scruffiness to it. Which, Oh, the wedge, the razor is uh, is uh, not a wedge. It's a uh, half hollow. You've seen this before. It's a signature from Art Razor in the Ukraine. Capitan uh, nine eighths. Pretty awesome weapon. Eco uh, Can't remember the wood, but it's a fancy exotic wood. I had to dye to make my scales. Coffee. Okay, so no prep, just wash my face before. Get it wet. And see if we can, if we can get anything out of this. <clears throat> Bloomed it a bit to try and soften it. Yeah, you know, the pieces are moving around. It's not very good. But this is the only way to kill a soap, except if you um, bowl lather, as I said. But I tried it and, no. Uh, this will be the last shave. No matter what happens, this is the last, because this is, Pretty messy. I don't even know where they are. Is there anything left or are they in the brush? <laughs> I really don't. Oh, they're in the corner. But this, this really is taking the, the very last smidges of soap. But it's, it's happening. <clears throat> you don't need much, you know that. You don't need much soap to make it work. And this is this has been serving me very well. Bay rum is nice. I like it in the summer. Uh, I like it in the winter. God, I'm tired. It's Saturday morning. I've had a very very long week, ending up for three days at a at a trade fair. Getting up at seven o'clock in the morning, meetings and stuff. Getting into bed at one, then getting up again. It's. Uh, pretty tough meetings 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 with people who sometimes barely speak English <laughs> okay that's the last bit there you go so but it was it was fun you know and Italy is nice I had my new colleague with me who's uh, pretty blown away by you know a lot of things it's Pretty cool. He's young, you know, he's, he gets, he's very enthusiastic. Love the guy. Brings a lot of energy to our little team, which is, which is very much needed. Because uh, the week started with, well, I'm gonna say too much, but a, a close friend who did something bad. And uh, I tried to blame it on me. And I like to think I'm a pretty tolerant guy. You know, I 
don't get angry or excited very easily. I tolerate a lot of a lot of stuff. But someone tries to someone you know betrays me or whatever and tries to and lies and puts the blame on me, that pisses me off big way. I mean, what do they think? I'm stupid or the people are stupid? Jesus. Okay, anyway, so we'll, we'll just bore you with that. But that was, that was a, a bit the beginning of the week. Very tough, pretty emotional. And then good ending in Verona, good meetings. Ah, this is really not looking very good. I probably don't have enough soap. But it is what it is, that's what happens when you use up the last bit. I can put a bit more water in maybe, hope not to ruin it. So yeah, um, but I feel okay. I, sometimes on a Friday you feel just like someone ran you over with a truck. I don't feel like that, I feel okay. So looking forward to a nice weekend. In the storm, just walk the dog. It's raining and it's windy, and it's the kind of rain where um, it rains and then it stops raining, and you think, oh, it stopped raining. But that's just because the wind went the other way, and then the wind turns back. It's like getting a freaking bucket of water in your head. <laughs> How was that for 12 minutes or something? Soaking wet. So was the dog. Dog couldn't wait to get home. <clears throat> it's very unusual. So, pretty different from the Veneto region in, in Italy, where it was 20 and sunshine during the day. Okie doke. Bayram, half hollow Ukrainian monster racer. I mentioned a few videos away that I won a giveaway on Instagram with theracercompany.com. It's over two months now. I haven't received it. It was supposed to be a soap. I reminded them and they said, oh, we're gonna check. Haven't heard back. Not very nice. This is a big razor. <laughs> Takes a bit of getting used to. I don't use it as often as I used to. I'm not sure why. Maybe it is because it's my my nice one. Um, so I don't want to wear it out. It's a bit silly maybe. I probably should use it a few times in a row now just to really get used to the size and, and the weight. It's heavy too. the last video it was the no it was the uh, god I can't remember when I when I used the yeah it was the last video random act of kindness day on Monday and I shared with what I thought was the single edge racer I got off mark at friendship shaving <laughs> and I have two single edge and they're a little bit similar looking to me because they're my only two so of course i didn't use the ever ready that i got from mark i used the micromatic gem uh, which i know the difference twist and open versus and everything um, so sorry about that and sorry mark um, still it was a it was kind of you to give me the other racer that i'll use on camera at some point Yeah, 
class, so last week was not so much. I wasn't on the receiving end of any random acts of kindness, more random bags of dicks, as they say. You think you know people? Jesus. Okay, I'll stop. Actually, I'm just gonna get angry. We didn't have time, literally zero time, to look for any shaving stuff in Italy. Uh, I have been before, and you typically find um, Pro Rasso, Acqua di Parma. And that's about it, except, I guess, if you go to special shops where you have to spend a bit of time looking, looking to see where they're at. Or I guess Italian websites, I'm, I'm sure I have a lot of other stuff. Okay, against the grain, contre le grain. Still pretty smooth, this, this razor. So cool with straight racers. I mean, they are sharp monsters, but they're comfy. You put them to the skin, you know, and like this. Oh, I shouldn't push my luck. And it's okay. If you have a razor blade, it's gonna cut you. But they're somehow equally sharp. If you have a good hone meister, which I do. Oh, and I, I got a few comments that I cheated with the Williams. Uh, have, have we talked about this? Maybe. And uh, yeah, I guess I did. Especially mixing in another soap. It's a bit of cheating. I just wanted to take everybody's advice on how to master it. To show how community can work. So I did. The only thing I didn't do was was put the soap onto my skin because I couldn't because I had it in the nice bowl. Otherwise I did everything you said so but I of course I cheated. I agree. At a dinner in Verona, where we started talking about uh, beards, basically, and I said, "Ah, oh, I used to have a beard," and they say, "No, we don't believe you," or I say it was a, a good beard, and they say, "I don't believe you because if you haven't seen me in a beard, you don't think I have a beard." Somehow, don't know why. So then I said, no, 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 I'll show you. And I, I pulled up the video from almost exactly a year ago when I shaved it off. Five month old beard shave off. And, uh, and you know, uh, people are, wow, because you know, anybody, anyone who grows a five month beard and you've never seen them in a beard before, you know, it looks, it's, it's a wow moment, right? So, but then I, I saw that video has more than 11,000 views. You know, I don't go back and check, but I was, I was blown away. That's pretty cool. Okay, I hear the rest of the house is waking up. Oh, 
hopefully not in need of this particular facility. Oh, still is smooth this, this blade. Just gonna do two pass with, with no touch up today. Because that's enough. It is so heavy. <laughs> I always need to stretch my skin a bit because the neck goes inward. And that's to get it properly, get all the, the whiskers, and also not to cut myself. I think that went okay. I think that went all right. I'm gonna rinse really quick. Yeah, that was good. A good result. The aftershave is going to be a bay run, so it's not the Barrister Man, it's uh, Australian Private Reserve. Is it Australian Private Reserve? So I have, uh, I got this from Chris at another catch above, and I have the matching soap, but I wanted to finish this one, but it is a good match because it is, it is bay run, and I almost never match, but it's fun to do sometimes. Oh, get a bit more. So I'm gonna walk around today smelling like my son says, smell like Christmas. And yeah, Bay Rum is, it's, it's a lot of Christmas, at least where I'm from. Yeah, that was good. Really happy. Pretty awesome way to start the day, don't you think? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Take care, have a good weekend and stay sharp.